Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we're going to be looking at some of the decks from Virginia this past weekend, and one of the decks that shocked a lot of people was the good performance of Lost March. Now, a lot of people were like, okay, Lost March is good, it's arguably one of the best decks coming out of the new set, and then over in the Latin American International, it turns out Lost March was not the deck everyone expected, but then this weekend in Virginia, Lost March managed to get into the top six which is kind of crazy considering how people expected this deck to do well but didn't expect it to do super well but it turns out lost march is actually a deck that can perform well making top six in virginia and we're gonna look at lost march today i have yet to do a lost march video so this is a perfect time to do a lost march video um it's a pretty interesting take on lost march there's a few things um that kind of give this build of lost march a bit more leverage a lot of other builds that i've seen didn't actually use this style um, basically what I'm talking about is using three Mars Shadows to disrupt your opponent and we'll get into why Mars Shadow is one of the best cards in this deck in just a minute. But this Lost March build, it's interesting. Um, I tried out a few Lost March decks. One of my builds used Mars Shadow GX to like counter Zoark and stuff like that. So there are some ways to build Lost March. You know, you can build it around using Mars Shadow GX if you want. But this build uses the other Mars Shadow Let Loose. So let's look at what Lost March is all about. So Lost March is a very strong deck. It basically abuses the attack Lost March on both Jump Pluff and Natu. So both of these Lost March attacks do 20 damage for each of your Pokemon except Prism Stars in your Lost Zone. And that's really good. 20 times is nice. And it's really easy to get Pokemon Lost Zone. Um, so the one way we do it is with Trum Break. So, or Tom, Trum Beak. I keep calling it Trum Break. It's Trum Beak. Uh, Trum Beak, of course, has Mountain Pass. Once you're in turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it. If you do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck and put this Pokemon in the Lost Zone. If that card is your supporter card, you may put it in the Lost Zone. So this ability is really good. It gets you a free 20 damage, and it also forces something to go into the Lost Zone. Potentially, you know, you can hit a Cynthia, you can hit a Guzma, um, which are really big cards to hit in the Lost Zone, and you hit them. You get a free Pokemon and Disruption for your opponent. But the other way is with Skip Loom. So Hop Up and Skip Loom are both one of the ways we put them in the Lost Zone. So Skip Loom has the ability Floral Path to the Sky. Once you're in turn, before you attack, you may search your deck for a Jump Pluff. Put this Pokemon, all cards attached to it, into the Lost Zone and then replace it with a Jump Pluff. This ability is really, really good. So not only do you put both the Hop Up and the Skip Loom in the Lost Zone, which gives you an extra 40 damage, you put a free Stage 2 Pokemon in play for free, which is really, really good. So that's one of the best things about this deck is Skip Loom. And this Skip Loom is so cool that like every Jump Pluff we're going to get from now on can be used with this Skip Loom, which is really awesome. So every time we get a Jump Pluff, we can actually use it with Skip Loom. Um, of course, there's not that many Jump Pluffs. We got this one here, which isn't that great. We got... Um, this jump love here again not that great um but it is really good to have that ability now um this could be really fun with like the mass attack jump love so maybe in like in a limited format this could be a fun combination uh, but it is nice now that we do have that skip loom and it puts 40 damage to the disc in the lost zone and it also gives us a free jump love and that's great so those are your main lost marchers uh, and of course we have the other attacker natu it is a psychic type um both being grass and psychic on jump Luff and natu is really good obviously grass can hit stuff like lapras suicune which suicune did see play this weekend it was reported that a uh, suicune quagsire naganadel lugia gx deck did uh was at this tournament and i am going to be interested in covering that deck if the list ever comes online um, but yeah, you hit good things like Lycanroc for weakness. And of course, Natu hits Necrozmas and Buzzles for weakness. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And the other Pokemon in the deck, uh, we do play two Rangurus for Instruct. We do have three Mars Shadows. Mars Shadow is one of the reasons why this build of the deck did better than some of the other builds you may have seen. Having Let Loose is really good against those Stage 2 decks. Lost March struggles really badly against decks that abuse Beacon and stuff like that. So having Let Loose force your opponent to get a low hand size. You can also play very aggressive with lost march get a bunch of damage early on and then mars shadow them to a four card hand and then hope that four card hand did not give them anything they get to work with and then you just steamroll them that's kind of the idea behind mars shadow it's great disruption and it's really good to do those type of uh, tactics and one tapu lele just for wonder tag and that's it we have 25 pokemon there is a lot of pokemon in this deck and yeah you need a lot of Pokemon, mainly because you can also use Lost Blender. Put two cards from your hand into Lost Zone if you do draw a card. Really good card to have. Putting two cards in 
from your hand in Lost Zone is kind of risky. Sometimes you have to put big things in Lost Zone, but you can put Pokemon in Lost Zone. Like, you can throw an Oranguru or a Spare Natu in there, which is kind of the idea behind Lost Blender. So it's another way to get things lost zone. The deck does play four Great Balls. Another really cool card is Great Ball right now. You know, look at the top seven cards of your deck, reveal a Pokemon, put in your hand. It's going to be a nice way to find your Skip Blooms really easily. We do have three Net Balls. Net Ball is really important to get your Hop Pips into play and also find Grass Energies. Two Rescue Stretchers to be able to like get your Natus back. But Stretchers is also really important. Potentially to shuffle Pokemon that get knocked out so you can throw them in the lost zone. Three Ultra Balls to be able to search for your Pokemon. You can't really go four. We have the Great Balls. We got the Net Balls. We have Lost Blender. We don't need to go crazy on the Ultra Balls. Uh, we got three copies of Cynthia, draw support, three Lilies, just your standard draw stuff. Three Guzmas, of course, because we need Guzma. We are playing three copies of Elm's Lecture. Obviously, Elm's Lecture is a really good card right now. Uh, search your deck for up to three Pokemon, six HP or less. Really important to have three Elm's Lecture in your deck. Um, so we are going to be running three of these just to grab like three Hop Pips on turn one. And potentially, or two Hop Pips and two Skip Looms, or just three Skip Looms. Uh, one Super Boost Energy. Um, this card is interesting. It does count as an extra grass because it's really easy to get three jump bluffs in play with Skip Bloom's ability. Um, so it is cool to play Super Boost Energy to give you that free grass energy. Though I kind of feel like Super Boost is a weird card in here, but whatever. Uh, four DCEs for the Nat Tooth, of course, and three grass energies for your jump bluffs. And that is it for the top six Lost March deck. Really interesting build using Mars Shadow to help you out in certain matchups and also kind of give your opponent that low hand size kind of like the Rayquaza did back in Worlds when Rayquaza spammed Mars Shadow to hope for the best and that's what this deck aims to do so let's go find some games on PC Joe first time playing Lost March I'm interested to see how it does yesterday's video we kind of played against two Lost March decks with our Zoark catcher deck and now we're gonna turn the table and play Lost March so I'll catch you guys in a minute with some games all right guys let's go do some games of Lost March this is my first time playing Lost March so hopefully I play pretty well We'll see though. But I am looking forward to trying this deck out. It is fun to watch, I'll give it that. And ooh, Water Dark. This could be a Zoar Glaceon deck, I think it is. And this is gonna be Zoar Glaceon, which I think we could deal with. Not winning the coin flip kind of stinks. Not winning the coin flip is a bit of a stinker. We'll see what we get though. Okay, we got a Nat to start, which is big. We also got Marsh Shadow turn one. I don't think we're really gonna do much Lost Marsh damage on our first turn here. Obviously, because we're going first and not second. We'll see what we do, though. Pretty sure we're up against Zoark Glaceon. No, we're not. Whoa. Okay. Huh. Okay, I actually... Are we up against some, like, unknown hand deck? I'm fine with that. We have Triple Mars Shadow. That, that's, like, perfectly fine. I actually... I don't know. Is this unknown hand? Like, it kind of spells looks like it is. It looks like one. Uh, let's see what we got prize. We got a skip bloom prize, right? No, we don't. Okay. We did prize a jump bluff. Got all our trum breaks. Trum beak, sorry. Uh, we did prize a DCE. Okay. Okay, well, we got the Lele top deck, so we can play an Elm Lecture here. Which is lit. Hmm. We'll play this. We'll probably just go double hop up in a skip bloom. And then we'll netball for the other hop hip. Seems like a good idea. And we'll just pass. We'll save Mars Shadow for a rainy day. Obviously, if he's playing some kind of like weird unknown hand deck. I don't know if that'll work though with Zork and Sand Slash Spam. We'll see. But this is, I guess, where Triple Mars Shadow is going to win us the game. Because we can spam him out of his things that's pretty cool i don't even know if i really want to play marsh shadow well, right, unless i get a supporter yeah it is some kind of a it is some kind of a like unknown hand deck Ooh, grass energy that's pretty nice i can actually do just guzman here which we'll do all right we'll save the great ball we'll uh shove some skip blooms in the discard pile we'll play this again or the discard pile, the lost zone. I am. I'm not thinking. Well, Great Ball, either looking for a Trumbeak or a Skip Bloom. There's a Skip Bloom. Perfect. Boom. Floor Path to the Sky. Nice. Triple Jump Bluff on turn one. And we are now hitting hard with Jump Bluff. Now we'll just Guzma and knock him out. And again, we'll save the Mars Shadow. Don't need to play right now just in case you never know that shuffle could mean i can top deck something good 
but it's not come out. Hoopa's not going to be a problem. We just got to hope he's not playing hammers or anything, but I don't think he is because, well, he's playing a hand deck and you can't really play cards from your hand if you're trying to get your hand to 35 cards. But this matchup should be a breeze, hopefully. Should not be too hard. Tauros? Ooh, that could be a bit of a problem. I don't even know if he attacks me, though. I, I don't know what we're really up against. He's going to slush rush. Slush rush. Let's see, does he do anything else? No, just a beacon. All right, I'm probably just going to knock out the Hoopa. Save the Marsh Shadow. The only thing I am worried about is potentially him bringing stuff up that like can get KO'd. Oh, only one Pokemon, really. Ooh, a Netball. That was a good draw. I'll save that. We'll just knock out this Hoopa. We'll save the Netball. No need to play it right now. Grab a grass next turn, maybe retreat Lele or Natu if it comes down to that. I don't know. Ooh, DC, never mind. We do need to get some Pokemon in the discard pile, though, for that Tauros. Good thing he can't KO me, though, with uh, Horn Attack, unless out of nowhere he drops a Professor QE, which I highly doubt will happen. I might just retreat to Natu. I don't know. I don't think it matters, but we'll see. Nope, just a horn attack. Alright, well, good thing we live. Alright, let's see what we draw. Okay, we drew a Ranguru. That's pretty good. I don't know if I want it right now, though. We'll just netball, I think. Grab a grass. I think I'm just going to swing with Natu here. I don't think it matters, but I'd rather keep the jump off and play in case we need to boost energy. Or something, I don't know. Let's hit for 120. Just netball with Finn, just in case, again, if he goos with me. Or something, I don't know rather just KO the Natu now, though. I don't really need it. Would be nice to draw a Lost Blender, though. I can throw a Ranguru and jump off and loss him. But again, I think our numbers are pretty good. I doubt he'll knock out Lele this turn with Mad Bull GX. That would be a little insane if he actually hit that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we're safe. So no, just a Horn Attack. All right, so we lose Natu, but I'm fine with that. Can bring out Jump Pluff. Nothing can really damage me. Oh, he could knock me out with Icy Snow, but whatever. That's just gonna happen. Uh, I think we dropped the Marsh Shadow now. We still have two in the deck. I need to get a new hand now, I think. Ooh, another Marsh Shadow. Get rid of that hand. And we'll Great Ball. Okay, we got Trumbeak. We will grab that. Would've been nice to get a Hop It too, but whatever. We'll play the Trumbeak. Nope. Dark Energy. Ooh, rip. I guess not a DC. So... I'll just knock him out with this jump bluff. Whatever, it's fine. I don't think it'll get KO'd. He might have a DC, but he's already played two. The odds aren't that high. We'll take our two prizes. Let's see. We got Natu. We got a Lily. All good things to see. Oh, don't tell me he's actually going to knock me out with Icy Snow. Okay, good. And we can draw Guzma. We can just knock out the Hoopa. Go from there. I don't think I need to go for that, though, honestly. like, We should win the game. We should win the game. I don't really see how we're losing this. Okay, let's see what we draw. Lily. We'll bench the Natu. We'll Cynthia. At this point, we'll win. We don't really need to worry about too much. Got another Trumbeak. How do I play this thing? Why is... Today? Oh my god. Okay, seriously. Why is this not working? Okay. How do I... Okay. They need to do something about this. This is stupid. Today, I want to play the Trumbeak. Yo, what is going on? How do I play this thing? Oh my good. Rip OBS. I don't know what I just did. Come on. Gosh, dude, are you serious? Play the Trumbeak. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How do I play? Fix your game. Dude, what the heck? Play the Trumbeak. Oh my god. You know, whatever. <laughs> You're actually kidding me. Seriously, what the heck? I don't know what that was about, but Trumbeak, you suck. What is that glitch, dude? Seriously. I don't even know if I have a DC. No, he does. Rip. 
Okay, what was that glitch though? Like, like, what the heck? Let me, okay, I'm not gonna like slow roll, but I really wanna test something. Whatever. Okay, that's a really dumb glitch. I don't know what that was about, but whatever. That was really stupid. They need, they need to fix that glitch. You should be able to play Trump with a full bench. They, you should just be able to like double click it or something. That would probably be the best way to maneuver that. That was really unnecessary and stupid. All right, we're gonna go do another match with our Lost March deck. Top six Lost March. See how we do. I do want to see if we can play against like maybe Blacephalon or something. See how that would go. And ooh, my wish might have came true. Um, Blacephalon, like one of the issues with it is the fact that they don't need to discard that much energy to knock out your basics and like your jump fluffs. But overall, I think we can deal with the matchup pretty well, hopefully. I'm interested to see how the match would play. As long as we just one-shot him, we win the game, basically. I'm just hoping the Gandalf's in the way. Alright, so we do start with Mar Shadow, which is fine. We do have a booming hand. Or we just start with Hop Pip. Hmm. I guess we start with Hop Pip. I don't know. I might just want to save Mar Shadow for the next next turn. We'll see. Oh, maybe? Okay, never mind. He's not playing Belcephalon. So, double hop pip. And I guess a skip one. Or maybe I grab Natu. Hmm. Nah, yeah. Double hop pip and skip one seems fine. I don't think it'll KO me. Magma Ring can't do enough damage unless he Kikui's me, but I don't see that happening. I do not see a Kikui out of nowhere. I mean, I hope I don't. Don't know what we're up against, though. Maybe just, like, a quad Macargo deck? I don't know. Gonna, oh, maybe that is quad Macargo. He's playing Mallow. That's fine. That's a pretty decent matchup, I'd say. Just gonna grab Lele. I don't think he's gonna judge me, thankfully. Hope not. Hand is pretty good. We'll see what he does. Can drop Victini. He might just Lily for a big hand, which is fine. And it'd be nice, too, to get a nice prize quickly on the Slugma. I don't think he's playing Kikui. This Makargo doesn't need Kikui. He's not going to Kikui me out of nowhere. That would really suck if he did. No, okay, Lily, okay, good. <laughs> That'd be insane. But no, he won't knock me out. He'll hit me for 20, and then we'll just switch into a, hot, a jump up. He's going to Lily. You don't keep the damage, right? Yeah, okay, good. He's gonna netball, okay, so, or nestball, so he's gonna be able to set up a couple slugma things, you know, the ditto, but we are, oh, maybe not. Oh, is, I think this man might not see it coming. He might not see the knockout coming. If he doesn't get another slugma down, he's gonna have a slower setup. This is kind of nice. As long as we keep our Guzmas good, you know, we can KO the, my cargo is pretty, oh, no, are we to, why not even to fire? Okay, so we drew a jump bluff, which I'm fine with. Not a big issue. Not a big issue. I mean, I don't think we prize that many. All right, we prize one jump bluff. That's fine. Probably gonna marsh out of this turn anyways. How much grass do we have? One grass prize. Ooh, that kind of sucks. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the jump bluff. No. I get rid of double DC. I don't like that, but I'm just gonna grab Skip Bloom. We're gonna do Mar Shadow this turn, anyways. See what Lily gives us. Alright, there we go. Trump beat. That's what I was looking for. We do need to find a grass energy, so hopefully we hit it. No, we didn't. Okay, that sucks. We do have Lost Blender, though. We just need to find, like, super boost energy. I don't think this will give us anything. We haven't played a netball yet, though. Hoping for the best. Might as well play this. Maybe get a Pokemon. Wow, we didn't? Bruh. Okay, whatever. We'll Lost Blender these two. No energy. Rip in the chat. We're gonna have to bring out Marshadow. That really sucks. The energy whiff sucks. And we got rid of two energies, so... A little bit of a bummer. We didn't even get to Lost Blender any Pokemon away, but we are going to do nice damage. We got three Hop Pips, three Skip Blooms. We just need to get a couple more Mans in the Lost Zone and we're good. 
see if Marshadow even gets KO'd here. It might. Yeah, there's Macargo. He just needs to find the other Macargo, and he'll be able to do that ability combo. He's gonna Ultra Ball, getting rid of Kikui. Oh, he did play Kikui. Shoot. Well, good thing he didn't knock me out. Again, we're not weak to fire, but whatever. You, you have what I mean, right? In the meantime, I think I'm gonna pull out a pop here. Forgot I picked some up at the variety store on my way home from school, specifically to have some energy to make video. Hopefully this doesn't explode. Okay, good. <laughs> he does need to find energy too. Don't forget. Hmm. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's not gonna knock me out because he knows I want him to kill my Marsh Shadow, so I see he's gonna. Stand touch and energy to the slugma, which is fine. Kind of smart. Oh, bodybuilding dumbbells, rip. I hope he's not playing max potion either. Those are two cards that get in the way. I guess that was a good loss blender though. Getting Lily is important. Would have had like a pretty bad hand if we didn't get it. We're not gonna be able to Guzma him or anything this turn though, which is a bit of an issue. I don't like that. He's got a burning magma meat. Oh my goodness. No, this guy actually hit an energy. Oh, he hit the super boost. Oh. That's bad. Now I regret a little bit more playing the um the DC. Ooh, oh nice. Okay, we got a Guzma away. That's pretty good. Um we're hitting better numbers now. We'll great ball again. Okay, we'll just grab skip them for next turn, I guess. The odds that get KO'd, they are kind of high. He does have that Macargo engine. I'm going to just not attach the energy. Just wait for next turn. We could get KO'd. That does suck, though, that he actually hit two energies there. That's going to make this a little bit harder to win, not going to lie gonna make this win a lot harder hitting those energies especially because I had to get rid of those DCEs it's really bad really really bad I was going for the crushing charge combo okay. Ooh, escape rope Okay, I guess Hop Pip goes. You can at least evolve and get Fruit Treat. But he, we can't even do the ability, so it's whatever. But I was gonna save it so I can like lose a jump left, stretch her back in, but now nah, we'll just let him knock me out. Annoyingly though, we're gonna get killed by Macargo most likely next turn. This is really bad. Hopefully we get a Guzma top deck. Okay, Natu, sure. Not a big fan of this position we're in though, especially because that, that that GX tech was so bad. That was so bad. Okay, we hit a Lost Blender. Um, Great Ball, okay, we can, we can do some big things this turn. I like what I'm seeing. Get rid of a Ranguru and Skip Loom. Play another Great Ball, sure. Doesn't really matter. Grab an add to, I guess. So, we are doing 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. We're actually 10 short on the KO on Macargo. Which, or not 10 short, but we're not going to hit the knockout right away. We just need to find another Lost Blender. Oh, we're out of them. Shoot, wow. Okay, this kind of makes things hard. We're going to have to play the two-shot game. As long as we just don't get KO'd this turn, which I don't think will not happen... I mean, we might be okay, but I don't know. Losing all that energy, though, is so bad. Now I really regret getting rid of those two DCEs. I probably should have predicted the GX attack, though, I guess. It's my bad. Let's see, just some random off chance he doesn't knock me out, that'd be great. Nope, no, he does. Gosh dang it. If we weren't so low on energies, I think we'd be okay. It would be nice to actually just do resource management. But we don't have that option. Ooh, he's playing fan club. This is bad, though. 
This is bad. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get any guys in the lost zone. I played a lot of my supporters too. Shoot, that's not good. We can still put some Trumbeaks in. We'll see what happens. I don't know how we're winning this though, if I'm be honest. I actually don't know how we're gonna win this. I don't see how we're winning this game. We are completely out of grass energy, so we're gonna have to rely on what Natu can do. Okay, we're probably gonna have to just Ultra Ball, get rid of Jump Pluff and Natu. We still have two DCs. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, man, this sucks. We're gonna have to play Lele. Probably just Cynthia. Cynthia or Lily doesn't really matter, I don't think. We just need to find DCE, which I might not even find. Oh, we actually hit it. Okay, that's perfectly good. I don't know, man. I don't see how we're winning this. If you didn't have that bodybuild dumbbells on, we would not come out, and we could win. Like, knock that out. Follow up on a KO on Lele to win the game if we get Grass Energy at the prize. That's like one of the ways we can win this game. But no, I don't see how we're winning this game. Just him hitting all that energy is like so bad. If he didn't hit two energies, I think we would have been fine to just win the game. But he hit too many energies off that GX attack. I just don't see how this win is happening now. Especially this bodybuilding dumbbells makes it even harder to win the game. Which is just like so fun. I love it. Do not see what we can do. Can we knock him out? We just gotta hope we hit an energy off the prizes. We can only get the grass. Maybe we can win. Maybe. It's possible to win off with only two energies left. I'm not saying it's impossible. Nope. He hit the energy. Uh, never mind. We knock him out with another Natu, assuming we can get there. I don't know if we can. Hmm. Rip. I don't think we're even going to get that. We're not going to get that DC off that Lily. We can try. We need to get a Natu and a DCE. Not looking too promising, boys. Not looking too promising. Not have any, any energy here. It's just blowing me. Not good. This is not good. The only thing I can hope for is that he just stops playing. <laughs> or his internet like poops out or something. I don't know. Uh, we can burn this at least, I guess. We got four cards left. Okay. Uh, the odds I hit it aren't great. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta hope we get Grass Energy off the prizes. And maybe we can win and just hope he doesn't play another Bodybuilding Dumbbells. If we get Grass Energy off the prizes, the win might happen. It might honestly happen. Oh, we actually got it too. Nice. Okay, we could win the game now. We could win. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. We can still win. We have to basically just Marshadow and test the grass. We can't play anything else. We can't even do Trumby because we'll deck out. So we can win. Game ain't over. Getting the grass energy is huge. That's what we need to win the game. We just got to hope that he can't respond with the KO after we knock him out with Jump Bluff here. If he can't respond with a knockout, we should win the game with a Guzma on that lately. So the win could happen. It's kind of just down to what happens. That, that grass energy is huge, though. I'm so glad we were able to find it. It turns the tides in my favor, hopefully. Ooh, is he not playing? Mm -hmm. He's not playing? I don't know what he's doing. It's taking a while. This could mean he's not playing. Maybe we can, we can turn this game around just because he might not be playing. Which is awesome. He's going to bring out the wrong Pokemon. Yes, he did. Okay, so he isn't playing. That's amazing. 
So I guess to be fair, he can win if he just gives him a rank group. So I can't drop Marshadow. Oh, he has to knock me out. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he has to knock me out if we're going to win this. Uh-oh. Oh, did I have another stretcher? Ah, I prized both stretchers. So ideally, if I got a stretcher and grass energy, I was surprised we would have been fine. Oh, wow. I don't think we can win this even if he's not playing. Yikes. Sheesh. I don't remember. What was my last prize? What was the last card my dad? I can't remember. It's either a netball or a stretcher. Oh, that is so satisfying. That is the most satisfying win ever. Oh my gosh. Whew. I can't remember if I prized one of my stretchers or not there. But wow, I should not have won that game. I really... Things went so well there. As long as I didn't prize my last stretcher. Because he could have maybe won if like... If he wasn't playing, it went back into my turn. And then I pass with no cards in my deck, and it, the game didn't make him concede. I probably would have lost the game. So that's holy cow! That was close. And rip, nothing good. That's fine. That was a really nice game, though. Jeez, the fact that we won that is so—that's crazy. And we'll do one last game. We might be able to get these four chests to pet if we win or not. But yeah, that was a good. Win. That was a good win, boys. That was close. That was a close game. Holy. Alright, let's see what my opponent is playing. Psychic can call us. Alright, it looks like we're against a Mali deck. Malamar is fine. I'd say that's a decent matchup. We'll see what we do on the coin flip. We do win it. Nice. I mean, we just gotta hope he's playing like an old GX deck. Like a Donwings and a Necrozma deck. Alright, we got the Hop Pip start. Double Jump Fluff is terrible, though, but we can always get Marsh Shadow, so this should hopefully work out. We get Lily instead of Elms, which I guess is fine as long as we don't get screwed over and don't get, like, a bunch of energies or just useless cards. We can make this hand work for sure. We can for sure make this hand work. I can actually attach the Grass to Jump, um, to uh, Hop It, because I'm pretty sure it says all card attached to the Skip Room. Or we just draw Elms Lecture. That works, too. So we'll go Hop Hip, Skip Plume, thing. So yeah, it looks like we're against a Lugia Malamar deck. We'll see what we do here. I'm just gonna pass. And next turn, as long as we didn't prize two Jump Fluff, we can take use of these double Skip Plumes. If not, we can try and do like Lily and try and get Marsh Shadow. This is good, this is good turn one. Nice, he's playing a GX build. GX build is what we want to see. We don't want to be seeing Giratina with like 40 Oxus because we can't beat that as well. It's better to play against these GX heavy builds. Though, Moon's Eclipse could be a big game changer. If he doesn't have another GX in play, that could be a game changer, potentially. But I'm feeling good about this matchup. Good choice band. Okay. Does he get an energy on the active? Nope, just a Cynthia. Alright, no turn one Lily, that's pretty good. Double Link K turn one though, kind of sucks I guess, but not really. Let's get a Nest Ball. If he doesn't get an energy down this turn, that's really nice. Then we could get free damage on Lugia. Did he with energy? Moment of truth! No E, nice. Perfect, okay. We drew Ultra Balls, that's awesome. We can actually grab Marsh Shadow here. So, okay, so it's all cards attached to it in Lost Sun, all right. All right, we'll, we'll play this first. Okay, we got all our Jump Pluffs. All right, that's fine. I could probably get rid of a Jump Pluff, too. Do another Floral Path to the sky. So now we've got 80 damage going on. We'll Lily for a couple cards. Got Natu. And I think here we just hit him with a with a Marsh Shadow. Okay, I was hoping we get a hop up there, but we didn't. That's fine. We're only doing 80. 
But we should be able to knock him out next turn, hopefully. And I don't even know if he'll even... He didn't get any energy in the discard. Oh, no, he did. We'll see if he gets the knockout with Dark Flash. We'll see. It would have been nice to hit another hop it there, though. Not gonna lie. It's gonna acro bike. Yikes. I can get rid of an energy. Which I hope does not happen. Okay, good. A Lily. No energy got discarded. That's fine. Less energy he gets in the discard pile, the better. He's gonna treasure. Oh. He's gonna try and knock me out with Don Wings. That's not nice. That ain't safe. I guess we can try and play aggressive with Nat too, though it does suck that he's weak to dark, not psychic. Just gotta get two more Pokemon lost zone and we can knock out Lugia. Alright, he hit the energy, he has a Cynthia. He's played two treasures. We'll see if he gets another Malamar. He did, that's annoying. So he's gonna get the knockout on my jump bluff here, which I'm not a big fan of. Another energy. Oh my goodness, stop it. At least you got damage on Lukia, though. I'm probably gonna have to try and attack with Nat, too. I don't know. I don't think it matters, to be honest. Don't think it matters. We just need to, like, get... I mean, I'm gonna try and get a knockout on on the Dawn Wings this turn. Okay, loses a Sightseer. We're gonna have to try and just get a knockout on that Dawn Wings here, I think. If we don't, that would be really bad. Sucks that Marshall didn't really disrupt them. It basically gave him what he needed to get the Cynthia off, which sucks. Probably gonna need a stretcher too, I don't know. Alright, let's see what happens. It's gonna be a very big turn. I think I just tag with Jump Puff. I don't think it matters. It's a good thing we got damage on that Lugia though, not gonna lie. Okay, so let's see what we draw. Let's see what we draw. We gotta be able to get try and get more hop pips going too. Can't really afford to two shot him at the current moment in time. We got a DC. I think we just still swing with jump bluff. I don't think it matters. We'll uh, Cynthia. All right, that's a bit better. Um. Great ball first, I guess. Try and hit Hop Pip. Marshadow's pretty good. Okay, okay, we can do a lot of this hand. So, we'll Lost Blender, the Natu, and the Oranguru away. Uh, tempted to throw away the DCE and the uh, Skip Loom. I think I will do that. And then we'll Marshadow got DC back. Alright, we'll instruct for one. More energy. Not nice. We'll drop Marshadow. I don't know if we're going to get him this turn. Maybe. We can always go a little more aggro on the Marshadow. Come on. Stupid dumb chumby. Okay, so how much is that? 120, 140, 180. Oh, we are knocking him out, right? Yep. 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 180. All right, we are going to knock him out. Might as well just take it. Might as well just take it. He's not going to be able to possibly respond to the Dawn Wings. Sadly, we are in range again Moon's Eclipse, which I'm a little scared of. There is another Trump Beak. That's good. We'll see if he kills me. I really hope he doesn't drop another Dawn Wings. He's played three treasures. I don't know what happens here. I am scared of Moon's Eclipse, though. But it's good we got that knockout, though. Oh, shh. Another nest ball. Please don't have double Dawn Wings in your deck. Please only play the one. Uh, please don't have the double Dawn Wings. We can always maybe Guzma, knock out Lugia, but this hand isn't good enough to do that. Okay, good. Necrozma. That's not a Dawn Wing. We'll see if he even gets a knockout this turn. He might not even get one. We'll see. You could have a Guzma. Oh, Giratina. Okay. 
Beast energy, interesting. <laughs> He's got two cards in hand. He might have a Guzma. He can always, like, knock out Natu if he really wants to. Natu is a threat to him, because obviously he's a psychic type. Though it doesn't matter, already doing enough damage with Blast Marks, but still, he could target Natu. He might take out a Ranguru if he sees that as a threat. Hold on. I don't want to look at too much. How many supporters? Okay, we still got a few Cynthia's. Let's see, does he have a Guzma in his hand? Does he have a Guzma in hand? He's got two cards. He's played a couple Cynthia's. A couple supporters. Let's see. Does he have that Guzzy Guzma? No, he doesn't. Nice. Beautiful. Hey, the hop and draw. Alright, well, Trumbeak. It's not going to let me again, is it? Oh my gosh. Trumbeak, you suck. But I am going to want to get another Skiplum going. I think he needs to get another jump off and play, I think. Well, great ball. Lele's probably going to win a grab. I think we just hold off on the hand. We're never going to use this again, so... I think we'll attach it just to have, like, a retreater, I guess. Hold on, we'll see if I have enough time to try and make this thing work. Come on! What is this stupid glitch? Today. It's actually good we're knocking him out, because we knock a Giratina and still go down two prizes. But come on! Play the stupid Trumbeak. My gosh. I don't know what's going on there. That is really annoying. That is really annoying. We need to find one of our stretchers to get that back one of the jump plus. We're going to get KO this turn 100%. He's probably going to KO me with Giratina. Obviously, it's a smarter play to do. Remind me to play that Trumbeak, though, before we uh, play Lele. Cause this, that glitch is so stupid and annoying. That glitch is driving me wild. Holy cow. Hashtag they need to fix it. ASAP. Let's see. Does he go for the Giratina KO? And again, it is good because we'll be down two prizes after that anyways. So it's like works out perfectly fine for us. Well, all we need to do then is set up a Guzmo and then we're good. We just need to get like the Skip Plume down. We need to get the Stretcher. Or just be able to get the Natu. But no, he's actually going to Prismatic Burst me? Okay. That's fine. Um, really weird play, though. I don't know why he didn't just knock me out of Giratina. Or maybe he didn't have it. Yeah, maybe he just didn't have the energy. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Never mind. My bad. But still, I still would have tried to... I don't know. Interesting. I'm going to bring out this guy because it does have the energy... Let's see what we, go. we get. Another grass. Okay, we'll Trumbeak. Okay, what does that do? Huh. If my opponent has two prizes... Okay, well, that does not matter anymore, so... That's fine. Well, Great Ball, really, really looking for... Oh, rip the skip. Ah, is it prized? Actually, it might be prized. I don't know. Okay, we do for the Jump Bluff, which is good, I guess. Alright, well, Lele... I mean, okay, well, we do have skip them. Okay, good. We got two jump plus. Never mind, we don't need a stretcher. We got two DCs. One is prized. Okay, fine. Play the Cynthia. We got the DC. Okay, we didn't get the skip plume, though, which kind of sucks. It's fine. We'll do this instead. We do have Guzma. That's good. We can potentially win the game in the coming turns. I don't even know if he has anything to attack me with. He's got nothing to bring out. So yeah, we'll just knock him out last march. If we get DC up the prize, we'll win the game. We did. We got that too. <laughs> but we should be good to wrap this game up here. And that is the power of last march, guys. That is the power of the last march. We'll see what he does. Hopefully he just draws Skip Plume just to win the game. Or DC. Psychic Recharge, okay. Let's see if he gets the knockout. He's going to need an energy to retrieve Lugia, don't forget. He's going to need that energy to retrieve the Lugia. 
does he have it? He's got three cards in his hand. He did take a prize. <coughs> does my opponent have the retreat or not? I don't know if he does. If he doesn't, we win. Oh, there's a Tapu Lele. Okay, he's got it. He's got it. I actually kind of just maybe hope he like and or judges me or something so I can just get the skip in the grass and win the game. But we'll be fine. We can hopefully Cynthia and get what we need. We should be okay, guys. I don't really think we're gonna lose. But hopefully we don't. You never know. Thing worst things can happen. Right, let's get Cynthia. I don't know if I want to bench Natu again. Oh, he hit the energy. All right, so here we, we he's going all in. But hopefully we just draw Skip Bloom so we can win. Or Ultra Ball. Still have one Ultra Ball left. All right, so he'll KO me, and let's see if we win. He's probably going to hit the Lele. Yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. Let's see. We're going to bring out Hot Pip. No, we didn't draw the Skip Bloom. Dang it. Could get ugly. Alright, well, Cynthia. We didn't get the skip them again? Bruh. I guess we just lost Blender and hope for the best. Alright, there we go. We win. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pretty clutch win, not gonna lie. I mean, we're not, we weren't gonna lose anytime soon, but like still, we were just in like a desperate need of what we were looking for. All right, beautiful. That Lost Blender came in handy, and we do 204 damage. What a nice hit on the Mercargo. And that will wrap the day's PDCGO video, guys. Finally got to use some Lost March. Lost March is a very fun deck, and it might have potential now that it made top six. Actually, we got some chests to open up. We'll open up them chests, and then we'll wrap up the day's PDCGO video. But uh, that was a pretty fun game. I do think Lost March has a lot more potential. It is using a lot of weak attackers. The deck didn't do well over in Latin America. But you know what? It does not matter because the deck could still potentially work as an archetype. It got top six. And the deck is still really powerful. It beats a lot of them. It beats a lot of the heavy GX variants. Ooh, not a bad card to pull. Reverse all fairy lily. Ten coins, not bad. I'm hoping we get a GX. I've seen some people pull some pretty crazy stuff out of these chests all right let's see clefable rip the coins are the best thing we've gotten but yeah thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed make sure you leave like and don't forget to subscribe down the road to 4,000 subscribers if you have not subscribed ooh, 25 points if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you guys do subscribe down below I'll catch you guys on another pdcgo video have a good day leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys later peace out